Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back for another Dragalia Laws video. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new summon showcase coming for Ilya. This girl right here. And also talking the specific banner that she's got. Um, it's a prize showcase, which means there's prizes and a whole bunch of it. And she's the only featured unit on the banner. And if I sound a little bit weird, it's because I literally just got off of work. And it's the late at night, so I'm recording way later than I would want. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about her, give my thoughts about her, see how she does, give my thoughts about the prize showcase in general, what they're offering. And of course, as always, if you like this video, you can leave a like, comment about any of the things I talk about in here, tell me how you feel about it, and of course, you can subscribe to me if you want some more uh, Dragalia Lost stuff. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and... Slowly but surely, we're making our way there. Uh, we're currently at 1,720 last I checked, and chances are I'll probably lose some more before we get there, but well, you know, one step at a time. So let's get into it. First, I'm actually going to go into the unit. Here's Ilya. Uh, she is a gun unit. Um, she is the exact same gun unit as Joe. They're supposed to come in different... Um, at least from what my understanding of it, they were supposed to come in different gun types they, they they really did poor joe dirty here by making joe and Ilya the exact same kind of gun type but you could also see it as like hey if you wanted to play with joe and get his big gun then congratulations then if you pull Ilya, you can swap over no problem so here's the uh, details for her she's an alchemist and from an unparalleled an alchemist man i'm already screwing up my words again i am tired an alchemist of unparalleled talents as much so much so that she was successfully able to create the legendary omega key after the death of her parents she was raised by a fairy she yearns to be free but the world is greedy for her talents we got drive busta deals light damage to multiple targets and inflicts flash burn if the user has one or more alchemetic cartridges it will deal light damage to enemies in a line inflict flash burn and consume one alchemic cartridge Alchemetic, alchemic, alchemic, alchemist, alchemic. Okay, Al alchemic cartridge. That's how I'm putting it in my brain, and it's shareable. Um, alchemic enhancement. Unlocking this skill grants the user an alchemic alchemy gauge. Damn. If the user does not have any alchemic, god damn it, <laughs> the alchemic cartridges, the alchemy gauge will fill them with standard attacks. I don't need this right now. Dodge attacks or four strikes connect with enemies. The alchemy gauge charges faster when the combo count is 30 or higher. This skill can only be used when the user's alchemy gauge has one or more charges. Grants the user an alchemic cartridge for each charge of the alchemic alchemy gauge. These cartridges last for 20 seconds. Alchemic cartridges grant the user a unique force strike that consumes all remaining alchemic cartridges. The number of hits this unique force strike deals damage based on the number of alchemic cartridges consumed. If the user has one or more alchemic cartridges, this skill will be instead deal light damage to the enemy directly ahead and consume one alchemic charge. Okay. Gauge acceleration 20%. I actually saw this call ability and thought the rip Mega Man, and then I remembered Mega Man is actually two combined into one, so no rip Mega Man. Still very nice for her to have, though. Uh, chain co-op ability, like above 10 hits equals shadow resistance 10%. Um, Enigma 2. Yeah. Dodges, <laughs> dodging will carry out an additional attack towards the target. Okay. Epiphany reduces susceptibility to poison and curse it by 100. This is... Wow, okay. She's immune to two different things. Usually, I think Mim is the only other unit that's not a galley unit who's also immune to two different things, if I'm, if I'm remembering right. She's immune to fire and one other thing, Halloween Mim. I'll have to look that up later. Maybe I'm wrong about that one. Maybe there was someone else before it, but it's actually very rare for someone to not be a galley unit and have um, full 100% without a mana spiral at all. You know, in one ability, basically, have double... It's 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 not something I see very often. Usually if there is, it's like one skill is like for poison and the other one is for curses. This is one skill for both. Um, critical output 2 increases the... It increases Ilya's critical rate by 30% for 15 seconds when alchemic cartridge is consumed by any means other than depletion of time. Hmm. 
I have really no idea how gunners are in general, so it's kind of hard for... I haven't really messed around with Joe at all. Um, so it's kind of one of those units where I'm like, she sounds very interesting, but I also don't know what makes this version of this class good. She also comes with a brand new thing. It's called a new flash burn. That's new. I don't remember anyone, unless Joe has flash burn, but I don't think Joe has flash burn because I would have heard about it. Um, the thing that is pretty cool is that if she, when she dodges, she's able to give out an additional attack. The one thing I did read up on is that apparently for when you're shooting with, um, uh, mana casters or gun users, whichever you want to call them, um, it's optimal to roll out of the way near the end of the combo, I think is what I heard. Either way, there's important, of it, part of it is that you want to roll away from it. So her being able to still attack is pretty useful from it. At least it sounds like to me. Uh, honestly, they could have given her any abilities, and the same thing would be said here is that I'm still going to be pulling for her because she's a girl with a big gun who's also a goddess. Like, come on. They also like, yeah, I already mentioned the stuff with the Joe. It's very interesting. All right, so here's the prize showcase. I wanted to talk about this. So when you summon on the prize showcase, you will get a prize in addition to the adventure or dragon who appears. There are six categories of prize, platinum prize, gold prize, silver prize, bronze prize, fifth prize, and sixth prize. When you perform a tenfold summon, the tenth prize is guaranteed to be either platinum, gold, silver, or bronze. Prizes will be sent to the no limit tabs in your goodie box. Unlike tenfold summons, using ten single summon tickets at once doesn't guarantee that the tenth prize will be platinum, gold, silver, or bronze uh, prize. Note: For a full list of prizes and their appearance rate, right, tap summon in the in-game footer menu from the prize showcase. Activate then choose the prizes under the appearance rates. All right. So let's look at the prizes. Uh, starting from below, silver prize. If you receive a silver prize, you will receive one of the following based on your appearance based on the appearance rate. Um, oh, I also noticed that they didn't put down the 5th and 6th prize, but I'm going to assume that's just one thing, but we'll find out. I forgot what it was. Uh, Champion's Testament 1, Sunlight Ore 1, Twinkling Sand 3, Damas Damascus Crystals, Moonlight Stone, Knight's Testament, High Lightworm's Tail, Lightworm's Great Spear, Rainbow Orbs, ooh, Resplendent Orbs, cool. Uh, gold prize. If you receive a gold prize, you'll receive one of the following based on the appearance rates. Sunlight Ore times 3. Champion's Testament times 2. Golden Keys times 2. 7 Twinkling Sands. And if you're able to get a Platinum prize, you will either get a Sunlight Stone, a Damascus Ingot, or an Adamantium. Adamantin? Adamantin. Ingot. Um, hmm... So this is a very interesting just because it's like, I don't think, I don't know how long it's been since we've had like exactly one unit as a featured unit. It doesn't happen very often anymore. Most banners I'm used to seeing is either like minimum two. And if it's two units, it's usually a dragon as well. The other thing I'm not so sure about is what are they going to use for the pity break? Because if it follows... So here's the thing. The pity break has been really weird so far. Because the first one, there were zero featured units on it. But it included every gala unit. Okay. And then the next gala banner happened. Every gala banner um, unit was on that banner. Only three featured units on the on the Gala banner. Um, it was Galazena, it was Mini, and then it was Zero, mid Zero. Um, okay, so I guess that means it's featured, even though the previous pity literally told us like, hey, um, it doesn't have to be featured. It's just the good units on the banner. And then now we come to this banner, and the only featured unit is Ilya. There's no way that she's the only thing on Pity. Because it doesn't make any sense. That would be actively a waste of Pity once you got 300. Because once you get Ilya, there's really no reason to summon on this banner besides, you know, the chance of getting a Platinum Prize. This is where the free multis come in really clutch. Because either way, um, you're guaranteed at least one of these three because they're multis. Because there's seven free multis, you're guaranteed at least seven of one of these. Which one they are, who knows. But you're guaranteed at least one of them. 
um, one of these. So seven of these, however split. It could be seven silver prizes. It could be six silver prizes and one gold prize. It could be a mixture of three silver prize, three um, gold prize, and one platinum prize. Who knows? It could be all platinum prize if you're that lucky, to be honest. Who knows? Um, I don't know. It's very interesting. This banner is very interesting. I'm obviously going to be pulling. I'm going to be doing a video. Um, because I want Ilya. Because she seems pretty fun. And she's fun to look at. Um, and I do like a lot of this. But her being the only banner on it. just I guess we'll have to wait and see what Pity's like. Um, because it can definitely feel like it. This banner really does feel like it'd be better if you just like not do what I'm about to do, which is make a summon video about it. It's better to actually just like bide your time, do your seven multis, and then at the end of that, if you still want Ilya, go crazy. Um, especially since we have no idea what the actual rates for this are. These are all great stuff. I just, it's very telling that they didn't tell us what's the fifth and sixth prize. Or is it the fourth and fifth? I've already forgotten. Six category prizes. Yeah, the f fifth and six. Hmm. I just realized, did I mess that up by saying... It's going to be platinum gold. Okay, so it is between the four. Okay. They didn't tell us what bronze is either, so you could totally get bronze. Oh, man, it's... I wish they had to put up everything. It's weird that they didn't. It's really weird that they didn't. Hmm, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to be summoning. That's how I currently feel. Tell me how you feel. You can send me a... Uh, I was going to say you can send me a message. You can leave a message. <laughs> That's the end of this video. I'm clearly tired. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys whenever I do that summon video. Goodbye. Have a good day.